This video covers the racking test method from ASTM E72 standard test method for conducting strength tests of panels for building construction. It is the last in a series of three videos that cover compressive, transverse, and racking load tests for wall assembly sheetings. Racking load evaluation of sheathing material on standard wood framing measures the shear resistance of panels such as plywood, gypsum, and structural insulating board to a load applied perpendicular to the panel's length. An example of a real-world racking load source is a wind blowing on the face of one wall that pushes it against a wall that is teed with it. In this example, the panel exposed to the racking force is parallel with the wind. Since standard framing is used in the construction of the specimen, the relative performance of the sheathing is the test objective. The test method requires the testing of three identical 8 foot by 8 foot specimens constructed using a standard frame to which the sheathing to be tested is applied. The attachment of the sheathing is critical to this test. Slight differences can have appreciable effects on the results. The test is performed by fixing the bottom of the frame to a rigid support. The top is placed between lateral guides to prevent out of plane movement. Load is then applied to the top of the frame at a constant rate of change in three increasingly more forceful stages where all load is removed between stages. A final fourth stage is then performed until either the specimen fails to take on more load or the total deflection of the wall becomes 4 inches. In addition to the force applied, the amount of resulting deflection is measured and this relationship between force and movement is used by engineers for building design. The racking test, in some cases, may also be used to evaluate the design shear resistance of an entire wall assembly. The specimens are tested as designed where the framing materials may deviate from the standard. These deviations must be documented in the test report, but conducting ASTM E564 should be considered as an alternative for testing complete wall assemblies. A variation on this method is to simulate wetting of the wall structure due to rain as may occur before a structure is roofed. All specimens are put through two 6-hour wetting and 18-hour drying cycles before being put through a final wetting period then tested using the same method outlined earlier. Aside from reporting details on the materials and construction of the specimens tested and the equipment used, the report must include the maximum load achieved for each specimen, the method and rate of loading used, and the test results in a tabular and graphical form, plotting the incremental loads versus both the deflection at each of these loads and the residual deflection after release of that load. Thank you for watching.